right, guys, welcome back to Comic Again. We're going to go a little off comics right now because our boys are in the playoffs. Yeah. We got uh, one more game to win. If we win tonight, Saturday, it's Saturday now, uh, the Cubs go to the World Series. And uh, then they only need to win five games and or four games after that. I can't I watch it as much as I want to. Every time he watches it, they lose. So those two games that they lost just recently, blame him. It's all his fault. He watched it. He didn't watch it the night after that, you know? Maybe. I did see that really awesome play, though, where uh, I forget who it was, but uh, someone hit the ball, and they, they, they missed catching it. They, he thought he had it, missed it, got to first, and he went straight past first, and they threw it, and they missed the ball. So he kept going to second, and they just they kept screwing the pooch. Oh, God. Yeah, they yeah. They were they were they were pulling what we normally would call a cub maneuver. Because let's <laughs> let's let's face it, three years ago, that's exactly <laughs> how the Cubs were like, where's the ball? I got it, I got it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some news I just saw online though. Uh, should the Cubs go to the World Series, Kyle Schreiber may end up uh, being part of the roster. So he sounds like he's uh, improved and ready to play. Cool. And the Cubs need him. Um, since I haven't really been watching this season because I don't want them to lose, <laughs> hence why they've got the highest score in baseball this season. They also have... Uh, I did notice that... Uh, what happened? Did they get rid of Castro? Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank God, because I couldn't see uh, him, that son of a bitch. Cubs made history this postseason already. Um, the uh, game against the... Uh, who were they playing before the Dodgers? Uh, San Francisco. Mm. Um, they were losing... Big time, and come the ninth inning, I think this was the last, was it the last game or the second to last I've game? Heard about that? Uh, not, and I saw it. I watched it. Ninth inning, they made the biggest comeback in postseason history. Um, so again, Cubs continue to make history this year. That's why you can never really call a game in the sixth, seventh, or eighth inning. Well, no, usually, usually by the seventh inning, it's. Oh, but that's why you, a lot of people you see a lot of people getting <clears> up and. Walking out because the game's pretty much over. But baseball, anything can happen. Yes, Marty? <laughs> anything can happen in baseball. Yeah. Um, but that's unheard of, though, to make a huge comeback like they did. Um, and then the other day, they were it was like, what, 10 to 2? God, it was 10, 10 to 2. And then the next game after that, 8 to 2. That was his last game, I believe. So, yeah, it's. Um, it's been intense. Yeah, we're so. trying to find a way to work around the, to make a loophole so that I can watch the game without them actually losing. As long as you're watching, they're losing. And we can't lose tonight. No. Um, tonight we have, we're back in Wrigley. Dodgers have their A game pitcher who um, get, caused a shutout the game two, causing them to lose. Um, so hopefully the Cubs are on top of their game tonight. They got their A players, they got their A game on. And we can just we can end this at Wrigley tonight and go on to the World Series to play against the uh, Indians. And um, the of course, uh, it has been um, uh, petitioned. It has been shouted out to the heavens. He says he'll do it if he's asked. Uh, wow, man! Charlie Sheen has been. Um, uh, the fans want him to throw out the first pitch of the World Series at the Indians game. <laughs> I think I think it's awesome. Yeah, that if that happens, they need to have him as his character. They, they need the Blair Wild Thing, Danak, as he comes out to the mound. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. I, again, huge Cubs fan, but they, I'm a huge they need to have Cubs someone too. get on the intercom and say, "Funky butt love it." Rookie of the year for those of you who don't remember. There you go. And when they're at Wrigley, they need to have that kid come out. Yeah. And throw out the no, 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 they do not. Oh, no, have what's no, his name? Have no, what's his name? no, no. He was in the stands last year. No, he was in the rookie of the year, was in the stands last year during the playoffs, and they lost when he was in the stands. I have a better idea. No, I have a better idea. Daniel Stern, because he was the coach <laughs> of the Cubs team. In fact, yeah, he, he, did, won, he, he wants to. he recently did a video of what the Cubs need to do to win as his character, coach character. <laughs> Uh, it was hilarious. Check it up on YouTube. It's awesome. 
So, um, yeah, this was all our whole, our whole thing. Basically, we just wanted to say, go Cubs! Weird. Fuck you, Cardinals! <laughs> We're Cubs fans, you know. E- even Cardinals fans can rally behind the Cubs. My girlfriend's a Cardinal fan, and she's been mainly against the Cubs. Um, but, of course, there's a lot of these ca- Cardinal fans. There's a lot of White Sox fans who have been trying to curse the Cubs. You got one of the one of the White Sox players, I think it was one of the White Sox, but wearing a Bartman jersey the other day when they were playing their um, their last game Thursday. Yeah. Like, really? You're from Chicago, motherfucker. If you, so what if you're not in it? The other Chicago team is really fucking root for me, yeah. you fucking asshole. That pissed me off. But you know once the Cubs win the World oh, Series, they're going to break that curse. They will be undefeated. Here's the they thing. They will be unstoppable. Here's what, we live in Illinois, Decatur, Illinois. Uh, we're like an hour and a half, two hours away from St. Louis. Three hours away from Chicago. Three, three and a half hours away from Chicago. There are so many fucking Cardinal fans in this area. Mm-hmm. And all our stores, like specifically Walmart, they're all pro Cardinal. They'll put all their yeah. Cardinal stuff up, and they'll find some Cub stuff in the corner. Yeah. Lately, all the Cub stuff have been in front, and all the little Cardinal stuff has been in the <laughs> clearance section. And I'll go up to, I went up to a manager. I'm a dick. I went up to a manager, excuse me. I'm kind of curious. And I wasn't wearing my Cubs hat. I was wearing a Joker hat. Like, can I ask you a question? I'm like... I see you have all this Cubs stuff here. I was like, were you told by this by your manager of the store to do that? He goes, oh, no, no, we just figured the Cubs. I was like, oh, you just figured the Cubs are winning now. So you thought you'd do that, but the Cardinal stuff back over there. I was like, well, yeah. I'm like, so are you a Cardinal fan? He goes, oh, yeah, I'm a Cardinal fan. I was like, oh, but you're just going and jumping on the, the Cubs bandwagon, bandwagon because now they're winning. I'm like, he goes, what? I'm like, Cub fan. This should be every year. We're Illinois. Support your. Team. That's like being. Yeah. That's like going to Eisenhower High School, going to a MacArthur game and support. You know, as a high school Eisenhower student I know. and rooting for MacArthur. I moved from I moved from Mount Zion School District to Meridian School District uh, in between my uh, right before to... my freshman year, and that winter I I still had my Mount Zion sweatshirt. I wore it, and they're kind of rivals. Now, I'm not saying you can't like another team and root for another team, but root for your home team, man. But I wore that sweatshirt one time. That was probably your last time. <laughs> yeah. Root for your home team. If they make it awesome, root for them. Don't be like, they fucking suck. Yeah. Dude, you live in Illinois. Well, you know, if you don't... Well, I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting into it. If you're going to be a, if you're gonna be a fan of a team, be a fan whether they win or lose. You know? That's, That's why they're, they're called the lovable losers. Because most of the, their hardcore fans, with, the Cubs have har, more hardcore and, fans than any other and team. Of course, the Carl fans are like, oh, you're going to make money in the World Series. How many rings do you have? Or, Motherfucker. It ain't about then. It's about now. Yeah. Where the hell are you? Because they're like, oh, look at our rings. We let you win. We, we thought we'd give you that Motherfuckers, one. Motherfuckers, you didn't even make it this year. And you know. The majority of the time the Cubs play the Cardinals, who usually wins? Cubs usually win. Yeah. Granted, not when I'm at the game. No. But I think I've been to the game five, four or five times. Uh, and see, you're, and the, jinx, you're the, the jinx when I'm you're there. The, <laughs> yeah. they, they won once when I was there. So. I I think if if the Cubs make it this year, all no, the way they, to the they'll, fi- they'll make it. There's no doubt. All the way to the final game. We need to do live reaction video. We need to have a World Series party here at the store. Um, I'll tell Move you right the now, TV over I'm, there. I'm telling you right now, Cubs win the World Series. Granted, I'm not going to go join the riot that's going to take place at Chicago. We'll do a classy like that. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure they will have a party there at the park. Like that weekend, and I will attend that party. Um, I'll take the Cubs fans who are here, Shannon, uh, Billy. I'm like, you know what? Road trip, fucking Chicago. <laughs> We're going to celebrate. So, and kudos and congratulations to the Indians too, because the Indians they haven't been a bad. They haven't won a World Series in like '48. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they're kind of in a bad spot too. Yeah, so, congratulations to the Indians. The um, two teams that have gone had a longest World Series drought. Are facing each other. Yeah, so. uh, Cubs over 100. Either years, way, not so either much way, years, someone's gonna. The two teams that were kind of like the underdog of their yeah. uh, division divisions have been stepped up and.
So it's going to be a good game. Probably. Could you imagine, though, what kind of hell would have broke loose if it would have been Cubs versus White Sox for the World Series? And at the beginning of the season, that's the way it was looking, too. Because the Sox were on top of their game, and then they went literally like... <laughs> so, but that would have been awesome. Either way, Chicago wins. We would have been... You would have had one bar that was divided in half in the World Series. Oh, God. And it would have been me and my dad. Because he swipes socks on cups. The one thing I, I wish we could see, but that we'll never see, is a Cubs versus Cardinals World Series. But Yeah, that won't. The, close, the, the, closest, playoffs, the closest we'll get is the playoffs. Yeah. Um, so, and the Car- it's all this Cardinals American League are, versus National League. And of course, yes. Cardinals fans are like, been there. <laughs> and the Cub fans are like... Mm. <laughs> But we are we are the lovable losers. Yeah, we have the most loyal. Fan Just not base. this year. No, <laughs> we have the most loyal the fan base winners. ever. <coughs> Winning. Yeah, and uh, we are going to get our comeuppance. That's been well deserved. Yeah, uh, and I think I everybody out, is going to be in tears whenever we finally get. Uh, the I just want to point out. I want this T-shirt by the way. I want to point out. Bill Murray started it, but they're now selling the Cubs T-shirts. Uh, with the goat and the Ghostbuster logo that says at the bottom, "We ain't afraid of no goats." Did you see what or hear Murray what he did yesterday? He interrupted the uh, presidential press conference. I didn't get a chance to see it though, but I heard it was hilarious. Only Bill Murray could get away with it. Was this the same guy who goes into a fast food joint, takes a bite out of somebody's burger, and steals their fries, no looks at him, goes, "No one will ever believe you," and walk away? The only guy who can get away with crashing a wedding. He's yeah. He's crashed weddings. He's crashed birthday. He's crashed bar mitzvahs. He's crashed people's dinners in fast food restaurants, and now he's crashed the presidential. Bill uh, Murray, if you're down. if you ever watch this, feel free to feel cra- free to come yeah. crash in on uh, because that would be awesome. Yeah, feel completely feel free to crash. Come I think I feel bad saying that because I think we've kind of bashed him a few times because of Ghostbusters three. <laughs> like fucker won't do the third script. He'll <laughs> do the new Ghostbuster cameo. <laughs> But we still, we're still huge Bill Murray fans, though. And regardless of what we feel about the Ghostbuster thing, it's still, it's still fucking Bill Murray. Yeah. Um, so, and now here's a question: Out of Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Ernie Hudson, who would you love to see on the show more? Bill Murray, of course. I want to do Dan Aykroyd. Because I'm big in you and yeah, I'm you're anxious for surprised too. Because Dan Aykroyd's huge in the paranormal and the conversations we can have with that. I know, and then he's got stories. Yeah, but I. The, speaking of the paranormal. Because you know what we would end up doing? I, I, know, I know what we would end up doing after the show? Fucking ghost hunting. With Dan Aykroyd. That would be pretty freaking badass. Yeah. Speaking of which, my brother gave me quite a bit of his paranormal equipment since he's too busy to do that now. Really? Even his. Talk about that some more. Even his security cameras that I've got them all hooked up. Nice. <laughs> So uh, anyway, um, even if you're not a Cubs fan, you're in, you're, you know you're a Cardinal fan, you're um, a uh, Giants fan. Um, your team didn't make it. Please don't be a whiny little puss. Rally and behind the Cubs. Rally we behind need it. The National we deserve League. it. You know, yeah, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. And uh, I, congratulations to the Dodgers too right now because you guys are putting up a hell of a fight. Um, stop being all whiny bitches though and saying they're stealing our moves. When you're the one stealing. No, no they're not. The Cubs. I mean, you, you, I'm sure you read, at least read about uh, Rizzo's um, talk with the uh, catcher during a couple game, a couple games ago. Uh, he did something. He went up to the umpire. He apologized. The umpire was like, you know, you're a stand-up guy. You can hear it on the mic and everything on the camera. So very, very um, sportsmanlike. I think I did. I checked in on the Cubs, and I think I uh, saw the after of yeah. they talked about that. So I mean. Not the team to be stealing moves. If anything, last year the Mets admitted they were stealing the Cubs moves, which is apparently how they got past the Cubs last year. And it's not considered cheating, which I think it should be. <laughs> you, that's just yeah. something you don't do. It's kind yeah, of an unwritten rule. Yeah. That's, 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 that's shitty. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go ahead and bring this to an end. Uh, we've still got reading recommendations to do. And I got, and I got toys. I found a toy. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. Okay.